guys, it's John Jay from My Expressions. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video featuring another Tiffany. Um, I'm not going to call it an unboxing, but more of a what I got for my birthday. It's a very small haul. Um, I debated on doing it because it wasn't like, you know, back to, you know, compared to my Pandora hauls, we're talking about like eight items plus. Well, this one, it's just two items and they're kind of like repeats. And I'll also show you guys what I got for my dating anniversary, not my wedding. <laughs> and I'll just, might as well just show you what I, like my entire Tiffany collection. And um, also, bonus, what I plan on, like what I have on my wish list. So, let's just get started before I start, you know, going on and on about random things. So here we have um, my very first Tiffany um I guess it's just a diamond bracelet. I mean, diamond, it's a very tiny diamond, but you know, it's still a diamond, it still counts, right? <laughs> and I already showcased this in my last Tiffany video, or my very first Tiffany video. So there's not really much to say when it comes to this one, since I already talked about it in my last video, or a previous video, I shouldn't say. I don't even know what my last video was anymore, because it's been such a long time since I posted or uploaded anything to YouTube. Oh, and honestly, I've wanted to, I just hadn't had time. And I got really busy, and then next, you know, it's November, and I don't think I posted much for October. I think I only posted one um, video. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think it was my oh, my camera's not working the way I want it to. Okay, now that I'm remembering, I think the last video I posted in, in October was my Pandora matching sets collection, um, and I think before that was my Tiffany video. So I'm just gonna give it a little close up here to refresh our memory as to what I posted and let's see so before I keep going I want to clarify too so we had our wedding anniversary in September okay and what he got me for that I'm actually wearing right now so I'm not going to show that quite yet but he also owed me an anniversary um, gift from our dating anniversary so I'm going to just say we've been married for 17 years and we've been together for a total of 25 years this year, this November. Um, he owed me a 20th dating anniversary gift. <laughs> I know probably everyone's like groaning, like, oh, really, John? Yes, yes, really. <laughs> so this technically is my 20th dating anniversary gift. And can we just say how awesome this is? Look at how beautiful that diamond is. It's tiny. It is tiny, but it is so gorgeous that I've literally been wearing this all like I live in this now I don't take it off I took it off for the first time yesterday because I finally felt like wearing Pandora um, but yeah look at that gorgeousness just so beautiful okay and I will show you guys what I wanted so okay so that's what I got in September and this was a dating anniversary Okay, so let's put this aside. <laughs> let's zoom out so you guys can see what I'm wearing right now. Okay, so for our wedding anniversary, again, in September, he got me, oh, let's see if I can, there we go. He got me the interlocking rings um, bracelet. So I showcased this and this um, in my very first Tiffany unboxing video for YouTube. Okay, so I'm wearing this one, wearing this one right now. So this is a wedding anniversary gift, and this is a dating anniversary gift, <laughs> okay? Um, so that's 20 years together, okay? Can you believe it? 20 years. 20 long years. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so, uh, again, not to, like, self-promote, but uh, in one of my last videos, I did talk about if you guys were interested in seeing me purge um, some of my Pandora jewelry, I created a Facebook selling group called Jondra's Jewelry. I will put it down here somewhere, oh, too close, somewhere here so you guys can see how it's spelled and I will also link it down below so you guys can see it and if you're interested in joining, um, please do. It's a private group um, and in it I just post, like I said, everything that I'm uh, willing to part with when it comes to Pandora. Um, there may be some other things that I, might, I may want to post it but for the most part, right now it's 100% Pandora jewelry. So again, parting with what I don't want anymore. Some of these things were um, impulse buys or just things I just don't wear anymore. So if you're interested, please join. 
um, and why I'm why I'm promoting this group so much is because the proceeds of what I'm getting for the things I'm selling I'm using to buy more Tiffany okay so what I wanted to buy and this is what my goal was I'm just gonna show you guys my um, wish list and you guys can't really see or tell the difference between this and what I'm going to show you okay but this is what I wanted to get the Elsa Parade Diamonds by the Yard bracelet in platinum okay um, with a bigger diamond again you can't really see the difference based on oops <laughs> based on um, this and what I just showed you here this I believe is a 0.05 carat and I think this one is set in platinum and it is 0.09 or 0.1 carats I don't recall anymore okay so this was the goal for that. When I show, I went to the Tiffany store and I showed Hubby, he wasn't really impressed by it. He was like, well, it looks really similar to this. Why not just return this? And I was like, no, we're not returning anything. What are you crazy now? So he just wasn't like feeling it. And really it's what I want. Um, but I like it when he likes, like he validates my jewelry choices sometimes. I'll veto him though. If, if he doesn't like what I like and I really, really want it, I'm still gonna get it. <laughs> But I do like to have some kind of, sometimes I do like to have his validation. So we ended up deciding to get this bracelet instead. So it's very similar to the one I just showed you. It's got three diamonds in it, but this one is, these are 0.03 diamonds. 0.03 carats, I guess, 0.03, no. It's a fraction of a carat, so it's 0.03 carats, I guess you can call it. So a total carat weight of 0.09. Yeah, three, six, nine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And now that I'm thinking about it, maybe the platinum one is 0.08. Now I don't remember. This is 0 0.03, 0 0.05, and then the one I wanted in platinum was either 0 0.08. I think it was 0 0.08. It was very close to like 0 0.1. <laughs> Still not a full carry, guys. Um, so this ended up being my 25th dating anniversary gift. Okay. So we, I went ahead and gave hubby what I have made so far from my sales from selling my Pandora jewelry. And now I'm wearing both this one and this one pretty much day in and day out. I wanna go ahead and put them close together so you guys can see the difference between sizes. I know you guys can't see it from this angle, so we're gonna go ahead and zoom in once more. And there you go. Now you can see very clearly the .03 carat versus a 0 0.05. It's a very, very, very um, tiny difference, but tiny enough where, you know, you could still tell. Right? I have to say, these diamonds are gorgeous for being so tiny. They just sparkle. They catch the light so beautifully. And I am just still so obsessed with my Tiffany Dime bracelets, you know? So maybe I do, I kind of still do want the 0 0.08 carat in platinum. I kind of wish they'd still had it in silver because the platinum is a little bit different colored. It's a little bit darker. It's more of a gray versus a more of a white in the silver. <sighs> but we got this instead. So I did get it early. I got this. 25th year anniversary, 25th dating anniversary bracelet early. We don't celebrate it until the 28th of November, but we were already at Tiffany, so we figured why not. <laughs> but I did have to say I did help pay for it. It's I don't think it's fair for Hubby to like, you know, just keep on incurring all this crazy costs because I want something. So he did buy something for himself too, not Tiffany, something like a sound system. I, I won't go into it, but he is very happy with his sound system. So we each got something we wanted. And like I said, I'm helping him pay down this because like I said, it's not fair for him to just be like, I want this. And he's like, okay. <laughs> so I think I'm done with Tiffany for a while longer. I gotta say, this is a lot. So 20 year, 25th year, um, dating anniversary. Got my 17 right here, wedding anniversary. And for my birthday, we ended up getting 
the matching necklace, which I'm really, really, really happy I got. I love this. It's, you guys hear that? I love that. It's like musical, you know? And now I have the matching set on this too. I have the matching um, necklace, which I was really close to exchanging um, this bracelet for the necklace because I was already wearing these, or this one. I hadn't gotten this one yet. I was wearing this one and I wanted to wear uh, this, but it kind of competes with this one. So I was thinking maybe I should exchange for the necklace. We went to go try it on. Hubby really liked it. So he thought, you know what, why don't I just buy this for your birthday? So he did. And then he also surprised me with another item which I was not expecting because, you know, we went to the Tiffany in San Francisco. There's a Tiffany nearby where we live, but he, we wanted to make a whole day out of our, my birthday because we haven't been out in such a long time that we thought, you know what, we have been cooped up for months and months and months. Let's go ahead and do something fun. So we went out to San Francisco and we went to a, what um, Gigi calls probably the oldest Tiffany in the West Coast, which is a San Francisco store. So I made sure that I got my wish list and I was like, okay, I want to try this. I want to see this. I want to try this on. Da, 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 da. So we went through like, I was, I think we were there for at least an hour, if not more. And I got to try on this beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Oh, I think it's, I forget if it's also pretty, isn't it? I think it is. I don't remember now. Or it could be Paloma Picasso. It's one of those two designers. I don't recall. Okay, I see a signature. Hold on, guys. I'm just going to take a picture of it so I can magnify it. Because <laughs> it's so tiny and it's not oxidized. So wait, where'd it go? It's so small. Okay, I think this is a Paloma Picasso. Let's see, I took a picture of it real fast. Let's see if I can zoom in. Okay, that did not do anything. <laughs> okay, you know what? It's on my wish list. Not this ring, obviously, but other like variations of the olive leaf. Okay, yeah, it is Paloma Picasso. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, so um this was on my wish list. I was really curious to see how it would um look and you know, I put it on, I was like, oh, I love that, it's so pretty. You know, and of course, Hubby loved it too. So he went ahead and surprised me, we were buying this, and he sneakily told the, Jew the sales associate that we would take this one too, and when she came with the boxes, one was empty, of course, because it had this, I was already wearing this in the store. <laughs> I left with this, you know, me wearing this. And, you know, the the sales associate, she goes, oh, please don't open it in front of me, I wanna see your, your reaction when you see the way he got you. <laughs> like okay so it was a whole thing it was very nice it was very very nice so it was a beautiful surprise Be oh my computer is acting up beautiful um it was just wonderful to have you know to have this extra too it's my very first um tiffany ring and it's gorgeous and i love it and i haven't worn it yet obviously it's been its pouch this whole time and can i say i just really love these pouches i'm really falling in love with these tiffany box guys like <sighs> what am i what i wouldn't give to have another one for christmas <laughs> So, so happy with my little Tiffany boxes. I think I'm gonna keep them for a little while. I'm just gonna collect them. Um, and that's pretty much it. So far, this is what I have. This is all within this year, which is a little bit ridiculous, honestly, because we are not made out of money. You know, we're just blessed. And I, I really think we have to call it quits now. Like, that's it. Like, he might want to surprise me with another Tiffany piece for Christmas, but I think it's too much. Um, so I think this is all I have for Tiffany M, with the exception of this as well, which is a little bit dirty, actually, compared to the beautiful, like, yeah, you guys can probably see it's a little bit grayer compared to the beautiful white silver here from this. So I can zoom in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, see, it's a little bit darker. It's a little bit dirty compared to the Diamonds by the Yard. But I'm including this because this is my very first Tiffany bracelet that I bought myself. <laughs> it's one of those things where I wanted Hubby to buy it for me. And he was like, I don't love it. I don't love it. So I was like, <sighs> okay. So then he doesn't like it. He's not going to buy it, <laughs> even if I want it. <laughs> so I bought it myself. And this is pre-loved off of eBay. But it, it has the honor to 
whoops, it has the honor to be, you know, called my very first Tiffany bracelet. And I had this for at least maybe a good year or two unworn because I did fit on this ring, but I liked the I liked I like the fit to be a little bit looser. I want it to be just like dangling off my my wrist. So I went ahead and got it. Uh, I went to a jewelry store and um, like a jewelry repair store and I had this added to it so that I can now slip this through it and I get that perfect fit that I wanted. Um, but the really interesting part is though, as you can see, it's already getting oxidized because I haven't, it's been sitting on my dresser just exposed to the air. And right here's probably where this seamed it. So it's kind of rough looking. Honestly, the entire bracelet is a little bit rough looking. And I'm kind of letting it get oxidized on purpose because a while ago, uh, on my previous Instagram account before I got disabled, um, I talked about how I wanted to pit three different jewelry cleaners against each other and I wanted to call it the war of um, the jewelry cleaners. And I wanted to pit Tiffany against Pandora, against a like Amazon silver, you know, cleaner. And I wanted to see which performed the best. And that's why I'm kind of letting this go on purpose so that I can get as dirty as possible so that I can go ahead and, you know, clean it. And I wanted to do maybe portions of it. So maybe like this section will be Tiffany, this section will be Pandora, and this section will be the generic like jewelry cleaner from Amazon to see which cleaner works best. You know, um, and I don't know which one will actually get rid of the tarnish because I know that some silver cleaners will just, they won't, they'll, they won't get rid of tarnish really. They'll clean it, but you'll still see that really weird gray cast to it. And then like I've played before with though, I already have a little bit of a sample of the Amazon jewelry cleaner and that one just, I can't stop my fingers. <laughs> that one will just completely immediately in seconds. I already actually, I did have a little IGTV that I, I, I did again in my on my old account where um, I showcased how well that jewelry cleaner worked and it was amazing how fast it ate the tarnish and how amazing the silver looked afterwards within seconds. So yeah, so I want to do that eventually. I've been meaning to do that still. Just I can't bring myself to spend $35 on the Tiffany cleaner. And then Pandora is $15, which is not a lot, but I'm just kind of like, 35 plus 15 is like, what, 45, 50? I can't do math. I just feel like that's a lot just for jewelry cleaning. So I'm just kind of waiting to see if I want to get extra money to go ahead and do that. Of course, when is that ever going to happen? Never. <laughs> and this is pretty much the end of my video. I put my timer on for 22 minutes, which I'm almost done. So I'm happy for once. But in the meantime, I also wanted to show you guys what I have on my wish list. So... This is the one I just showed you guys already, um, the Platinum. This one, I've been wanting for a while. It's just, just a chunky silver classic um, Tiffany bracelet. So that one I got to see. They didn't have my size, but I got to see it. So where they want this one and this one I didn't get, I didn't really try on this one. Oh my gosh. This one I took a photo of, um, so it's somewhere on my phone. It is such a beautiful bracelet, it's light it's solid and it's just chunky I just love it um, not too badly priced and I think it's just a beautiful layering piece you know it's kind of got a little bit of a masculine edge to which is I like it was probably why I like it but it's gorgeous whoops let's not visit that now oh what happened hello hold on <laughs> there we go okay this is the news line from Tiffany which is the hardware I think it's called right there, Tiffany Hardware. And my friend Gigi just bought this in gold. Can you imagine? Oh, it's so luxe, I love it. It's so beautiful. Um, but yeah, I was like, well, I can't afford that. So maybe silver one day. <laughs> and what else? This one I got to see, I didn't get to try it on because I didn't have my size again, but I got to see it. This is the classic, classic, classic pen on um, Pandora. Pff, Tiffany bracelet, I love. The look of a like a charm bracelet with the one dangle, love it. So I also have, let me see, where'd it go? Did I take it off? I think I took it off. Hold on, there's another one I want to show you guys. 
but I can't, it's something long gone, it's retired. So I have it on my, hold on guys, let me try to find it. It's probably like on eBay or something. Let's get like a snapshot of it real fast. So you guys can see it. Okay, hold on. Again, poorly executed video. <laughs> Here it is. This one. I just, I want it so bad. It's so cute. It's so pretty. Just the old chunky heart, which is a clasp. And then again, the really big chunky chain. Bold. I just love these large pieces. So I'm really finding that way. I love these large statement pieces, but then I also like my small dainty ones as well. So I go, you know, with both styles. Now getting back to my Pinterest. Here we go. Okay. Oops, there goes my timer. Okay, what else did I have? This one I could probably will probably never never ever in my life afford. I don't I didn't even ask to try it on because I was like, okay, it's just not it's too much. It's like a thousands of dollars. This one I did get to try on. Um this was potentially an Anna no dating anniversary bracelet, but we really liked it, but it was just really hard to see. And we both thought the heart was kind of small, so we decided against it. I didn't try that one on, or this one, or any of these. This one I tried on. This one I want to get for myself eventually, too. Hubby didn't really like it, but I did. <laughs> the only bad thing, too, it has a really nice mirror finish. So it will get scratched easily, but, you know, it is what it is. I have to get over that kind of stuff. Um, this one we both like, too. And I did try this one on as well. Just really like the sentiment of the love struck heart with the arrow and oh this one is such a dream I want that one day it's so beautiful and so expensive <laughs> I didn't try any of these on the rings though let's see so I tried on like I said the other one the one I just showed you this one's beautiful too but I was like yeah it's a little bit thick and I think I want this to be on my ring side. I don't know. I don't think they had it on my size, but it's just on my wish list. I didn't, I didn't try this one on, but I did try um, this one on, which I love, 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 loved. I think this might be one of my next rings. This one or this one. And I really, really like this one. They didn't have the style I wanted. They have a small and a medium. And they only had the medium. No, the small. I'm sorry. They only had the small. And I... Oh. Yeah, and I wanted to see the large one because it's kind of, it's chunky. I can get this to enlarge better. There we go. So you see that? It's really big, and I love that. I love that it's open. So again, they didn't have that. They had it in a small, small, yeah, small. And this is the medium. So the effect wasn't the same. So I think my next, like, purchase will be this ring or this ring, the love ring. Although I gotta say, it was a little bit lightweight. I was surprised I wasn't like a heavier, thicker, like wire, I have to say. Um, so I was a little bit disappointed, but I still liked it. Um, of course, that's too rich for my blood to have it in gold. <laughs> Just curiosity, let's see, how much is the 18 karat gold love ring? Oh, okay, that's not too, too bad. I thought it was going to be in like thousands because it is 18 karat gold. Yeah, 18 karat gold. Oh my gosh, I love it. Not too bad. And I guess I think I would have to, oh, they have more sizes. No, probably an eight would be more comfortable because I'm a big girl. <laughs> 550, really? Is that the same size? The same, same? 550, 500? No, I don't remember. Probably. Still the same price, I would assume. Yeah, 550. So it's not too bad. Not too bad, but for a ring, I, I don't know if I want to spend that much on a ring. I'd rather spend that much on a bracelet, maybe. So yeah, this is my wish list. These are not even they're retired. So we have the love ring, the graffiti, more of the Palom Picasso olive leaf band ring, the Elsa Peretti. These are this one's pretty cool again. I didn't get to see that one. Or this one because if we had then we would have been there for like maybe like an extra hour and I was like no we need to go eventually 
So, so far, this is what I have on my wish list. Some classic pieces. Um, some more modern pieces. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. So, as always, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for supporting me. And again, I'll put that link down below on my Facebook selling group if you're interested. And I don't know what next video will be. I really don't know. It's already November. This month is going by so quickly. I have no idea which uh, what to post next. <laughs> Usually it's my Black Birthday hauls and Black Friday hauls in November, but I don't know. I seem to have forgotten what to post now, so I will try to, I think I have a list somewhere on my phone where I gotta look it up. <laughs> I'll try to figure out what to uh, post. Um, I really do think that my uploads are going to be slowing down quite considerably now since I'm not a huge fan of Pandora anymore. Although I do have, now uh, the winter stuff is out, oh my gosh, it is locked in again. No. Jeez. What was I saying just now? Um, I haven't quite fallen out of love with Pandora, it's just what happened earlier this year really messed me up so oh uh, that, that's right the winter stuff came out so I do want all the new star stuff that came out all the new celestial things that came out I do want that so maybe for Christmas but we'll see okay or maybe for Black Friday we shall see <laughs> but once again thank you for spending some time with me and until next time I will talk to you guys later